What is up, everybody? It's Terminator Juice, and yeah, it's been a minute since I uploaded a Rocket League video. I know they're not that popular, but uh, hopefully this will educate and entertain a few people. Even if only one person got something out of this, then um, it was worth my time because I'm always looking for videos and trying to find, you know, sources for getting better and doing different car mechanics and, and shots I see people do and, and you know it's you really gotta know who's who in the in the pros and on YouTube like who's actually good enough and not really good enough but who's um, gonna help you at where you're at and I know a lot of pros to them everything's easy so it's like it's hard for them to to you know get it down to the simplest form because they got three four five six seven eight thousand hours in the game however many hours and it's been so long since they're at at uh, my level your level so first thing just go to free play and a couple things i'm working on right now i, I really need to improve um the first one isn't as crucial as what's called half flipping so you're facing that was a terrible one so let's just say Ball came on. You're facing the wrong way. Ball's coming at you. You want to turn. That was, you know, mediocre at best. So what you need to do, and trust me, I started trying these, like, in the fall of 2018, and I'm still not great at them because I don't have the time to spend two hours a day doing it. You know, I do it for about five, ten minutes. Um, I was, you know, every once in a while, and now I'm doing it every day before I play. So the trick is, turn ball cam off, it makes it easier. Um, so if you just drive backwards and back flip, there's nothing, nothing you can do. If you just hold straight back and back double, double, you know, jump, back flip, um, there's nothing you can do. But... Let me get on this little spot here because it's it's easier to see. If you drive backwards and at the last second, which I didn't do it there, but you turn just ever so slightly, hold your control stick um, down into an angle. So when I drive backwards, I automatically start holding down on my left stick. Um, so what you need to do is right before you jump, you hit to the side just ever so slightly. That's the that's a crucial part, you know. That's just a, that's just standard holding it. So just you know, dri get used to driving backwards while holding down. That's kind of that helps me because just trying to do it the last second. I guess it works too if you really act if you're really good at just hitting a precise direction at any given moment. For me, I have to hold down and then just of course there's a goal. Um, Let's go off to the side just a little bit. The other, the final part is when your car, basically when the bottom of your car is, is, or when your car is flat to the ground or parallel to the ground, you quickly jam up and hold it. So you're driving, go to the corner, hold up, and you hold it till you land. And then the, your car just automatically rotates. So there was a little early. I was a little late, but still worked. But soon, right, right there was probably ideal. As soon as you're like parallel to the ground, just jam the stick forward all the way up, straight up, and uh, and your car just rolls over and boom. So if you got ball cam on, I find it trickier. But you know, there you go. It's called a half flip, and like I said, I've been started it months ago I started kind of trying it but now I'm gonna really focus on it because too often I'll be playing games and I see my teammates just doing this trying to get to goal so they drive back like first way too far away like let's say you're here you're like oh shit I gotta try to save this no you're, you're if you're driving backwards for more than a second if you're driving backwards for more than just a let's say you're here and you're like oh I'm gonna get in the goal a little bit just to get a better angle that's what you should be driving backwards. You should not be going, oh shit, I gotta drive 
yeah, I gotta get back to goal. You know, that's like the worst thing. Like that's like bronze and silver stuff. So this, do that, boom, you're in goal. You know, that was a bad, you know, I went up the wall there, but half flips, I find myself uh, more and more wishing I could do them consistently. You're out of position. You know, you're, let's say, uh, so I started going up field. Oh shit! Boom! I'm I'm back to goal, just like that. So, work on it again. Practice it with ball cam off, car cam as you will. Drive backwards. Hold down into the into a corner. And press up and hold up when your car's parallel to the ground. So, that's one thing not gonna find it as useful it's not gonna be something you use in every game the other thing I'm finding and that it's gonna be hard to um, demonstrate here so I'll just keep the ball out of the equation and let's say uh, if you're getting decent at aerials for hitting the ball in the air you know you wanna hit the ball a lot of times and I and I still do this a lot cuz the ball's moving Let's say that I think the ball is going to be here. I jump up and the ball is actually over here. So it's really hard to adjust. And then let's say you get above the ball and then you then you try to, like I do, I just point my nose down and try as fast as I can. Well, there's better ways to do it. One is, you know, doing a quick backflip and then shooting down. It stops, you know, your forward progress. So... I just need to get better at changing the direction of my car in the air. And I found a video from Squishy Muffins, who's like the, one of the best pro players there is. And uh, he broke it down as to like the the beginning. You want to start, and it was nice, it was kind of also for freestyling and flipping in the air. But so what he recommended and what I've been doing is my, now my daily routine. As you get up in the air, turn your car around, and work on hitting the the crossbar right there to you know control your air. Um, start with the car backwards and just work on hitting hitting the crossbar, not being too high, not being too low. Obviously, you get a lot of you get a lot of time to adjust, and what you can do to make it more challenging is start it closer here. And just work on that, you know, being able to maintain. That's something I really struggle with is maintaining um, a certain height, which I didn't do it there. Just maintaining, figuring out what you got to do. Of course, you're not going to have unlimited boost in a game, but just getting the muscle memory and the mindset. You don't just hold. You don't just have to hold boost. Um, you know, to get to the ball, sometimes you you got to stay at a certain level. Like I said, um, sometimes you'd be too high, and you know you can adjust there. So the next step is what I'm trying to do: is take that and then add some spins and still try to end up at the crossbar. Now you have all kinds of time. This is like beginner stuff, but. At first, I was finding it really hard to like spin, flip, and if you're wondering, if you're even new to this, like doing that, that's an air roll. Um, the only way you can realistically do that and boost and everything at the same time is to make it a bumper or a button, because um, you're boosting with A. I th let me think. No, you're jumping with that. You're boosting with B. So instead of trying to hold like Y in boost or, you know, if you're on switch or something, be X. Um, I put my, let's see, air roll on the left bumper so I can hold that and easily do everything I need to do. So just real quick, you know, show you that. But uh, so my, my end game, my end goal is to be able to, you know, easily be able to adjust like see how I'm not even close there I want to be able to like change the direction of my car easily 
and still be able to hit the target you know uh, it's not just to show off it's not to freestyle but um, come with this practice I'm hoping that you know I'll be able to hit the ball a lot more consistently and if I'm off target I'll be able to adjust in the air and uh, and get to where I need to be now when you start you might have a really tough time just doing this just hitting this crossbar um, you know, I got 700 hours in the game. There I uh, turned the wrong way. And you're like, well, why don't you do it forward? Well, forward, I think, uh, maybe you want to start with forward if you're, if you're new to aerials entirely. But I find flying backwards um, just helped help me overall with my aerials. I did a video about that before. Um... And I, I'm, I gotten used to it now. I'm actually better at adjusting while flying backwards. Um, but when, when I'm in a game and I'm going after the ball, I'm still just doing the old stuff because, you know, this practice doesn't immediately result into on-field achievements. Um, you really need to do it in, for, for a long time before you start, oh, yeah, I should try that in a match. And then you start doing it in a match, and then... Um, you know, becomes part of your game. So right now, I was kind of, I've been practicing like doing a flip and then going back the other way. So I've been launching at one of the corners and then trying to adjust and hit the center of the crossbar. And uh, one way to to fly the way I was flying is you just hold air roll and then down into the corner. You gotta kinda find your zone so you're not doing, you know, so you're kinda doing that instead of, uh, you know, if you don't hold the air roll, then this is what you do. You can do backflips and your car can cartwheel. So you just hold the air roll the whole time. And I just work, I'm just working on spinning and trying to throw myself off it's like there I'm, I, I miss the the target so that's this is the kind of stuff I do you I mean you might find this completely like you'd never you're never gonna do this like you're just gonna be happy playing Rocket League at the level you're at that's fine but uh you know I'm I'm kind of stuck I plateaued with my mechanics and my skill um, I'm, you know there's always improvement on positioning and just playing the game. You're always gonna you're gonna improve o over time, but I'm just kind of at a stalemate with my mechanics. So I'm trying new things to uh, to get better. So there I did two kind of reversed, um, and uh, I feel pretty good about being able to do that. So hold to the right, get to where I want to go. Yeah, couldn't get over far enough. And uh, it's just it's stuff you got stuff I want to work on. I want to get better um, at stuff like this. And uh, this is this is the kind of work you got to put in. I'll probably do this, you know, 15, 20 minutes before each each play session, and then you know also just practice hitting the ball. So it's. You got the fast kickoffs, you practice, practice, you know, getting big hits, then off the wall, hits, there's all kinds of stuff you can do, and it's not as fun as playing the game, I mean, there are some people, the pros say they they have more time in free play than they do playing matches, and uh, I believe it, because you got to be that good, you have to dedicate and uh, I, I can't do that. I get bored after, you know, 10, 15 minutes of free play. And I was like, I gotta get into the action. That's probably why I'm haven't got why I'm kind of stalemated with my skill and my rank. Like I should be, I should be a lot better, you know, with the ball. And uh, I'm not. And so I got to work on it.
Because I am... I am 40 years old now. My reflexes are not as good as these kids. So I got to probably work twice as hard to hit the same results. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have the time, all the time, to play this. I can't play seven, eight hours a day. Not only do I not have the time, but my hands and my wrists. Because damn arthritis probably would be hitting me. Because my job is constantly using my hands. So, I, you know, I can't sit there and do this kind of stuff for, for many hours a day. So I try to do this for like half hour if I can. This kind of stuff. And then I jump into a match. So anyway, uh, another thing I wanted to do was just test. I had to replace my, my Yeti, my blue Yeti. Um, I replaced it with another blue Yeti, and this one's actually blue because uh, mine kind of fried, and I think it's because my PC, uh, I have an ASUS motherboard, and the, uh, the USBs are always on even when the computer's off, and I think just four years, however long it's been, of non-stop, you know, power. And when I turn the system on, turn it off, uh, I think it just, I think it, it fried it. So I got a new one. I want to make sure it worked. I changed a few of the settings, tweaked a little, some of the volume. So this is kind of a test for that. But anyway, I've rambled on way too long. I'm sure no one's still watching, but if you are, appreciate it. And uh, happy rocket leaguing. We'll see you next time.